I'll, I'll put blood and I'll put sweat into it and tears are coming. I know it. Only on to a Claremore Marine on a deadline working to repair a family keepsake before, before deployment. With the help of a local mechanic, he plans to take the first ride in decades on his late father's Harley tonight. Two Works You reporter Megan Allison shows us how they achieve this goal in just over a week. Through heat, long hours, and a daunting task, John Marshall knew he needed to repair this Harley before being deployed to Japan next week. Right now with that spacer on there and this right here, he's still got to come out. It's been in the family for decades, belonging to Marshall's late father who passed away 19 years ago. The Marine was five years old. Looks good. Since then, he's dreamed of calling this bike his own. And for the first time, he has the resources to make it happen. I was looking at some pictures of me and my brother sitting on it with my dad. And I was thinking, you know, 22 years ago, I was sitting on that bike with that man it just kind of I got chills a little bit and uh, it's been emotional it's been an emotional experience it really has Marshall's father had wrecked the bike and was repairing it when he died while going through parts his son found written in sharpie on the tank the words fix me and this marine says he's up to the job kind of feel like I'm finishing the job that he started and picking up where he left off like, I've read that I kind of got chills a little bit like he was like giving me a message you know like this tank needs to be fixed in what would normally take months, John was able to achieve in a matter of days. The mechanic here says he didn't hesitate to take on the task. Let's do it. I mean, uh, this is what I do for a living. Uh, that's what my God put me on this earth to do is build motorcycles. And then we'll tighten it back. Marshall kept every original part he could from spokes to the engine. The memories I have, that bike is right there with them. So it's, uh, it's fantastic. I feel so much more a part of it. Uh, part of him because I was so young, you know, but I feel this kind of gives me that closure. The Marine says he feels his father with him and looks forward to that company on his first ride. I absolutely can't wait to, to get on it and, and, and ride the bike that, that he rode and that he loved so much. Reporting in Claremore, Megan Allison, Two Works for You.